Hello, Dennis. Hello, again, Captain Strand. All right, you guest of honor is here. Are we happy? We are very happy. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Now it's my turn to ask for a few things. When I'm good and ready, Major, first, I have a question for Owen. Sure. What do you want to know? How did you do it? How did you figure out my exact M.O.? Down to the frayed lamps and fake circuit breakers? They just got lucky, I guess. No, don't. Don't do that. Don't condescend to me. Did, did he tell you to do that to make me feel smart? I don't need anyone to feel smart. I know that you're clever, Owen. You don't have to hide it from me. Okay. I figured it out because it's exactly the way I would have done it. See, I knew you had darkness in you too. Now, I asked you a question when you were the one wearing the bracelets. Do you remember what it was? How many fires did the arsonist set? That's the one. Now let's see how good you really are. Eleven. You really are bright, which frankly takes the sting out of sitting on this side of the table. <sighs> Eleven is so close. So close? So there's more? There's more. All right, so how many fires did you burn? How many did I burn? 11, but the question was, how many did I set? Which is a few more. <laughs> you two think you're smarter than me? You're nowhere near my level. And now everyone is going to find out. What are you talking about? You took the most important thing in the world from me. And now I am going to repay the favor. <laughs> it's funny. When you're trying to avoid getting caught, your options are so limited. But when you don't, well, you can really get creative. Take aluminum iodine powder. You can grind it to the consistency of table salt. Sprinkle it almost anywhere. And you know what happens when you immerse it in water? 